Hey everybody, welcome back to Pikmin. Last time, we cleared out the impact site, including covering the Mamuta and the Gulix fights. Again, those appear respectively on day 8 and 9, or rather even in odd days after day 7. So today, the first three areas completed, we head to the Distant Spring, the final area, well, sort of, the final big area of Pikmin 1. Let's go. And as we're coming in, I should mention that as with the uh, the Gulix and the Mamuta, uh, other areas get changes after a certain amount of days too. Uh, generally, it's just um, you know they add a couple more ball bear or ball borbs rather, um, some more flint beetles, shoe grubs, small things. But uh, specifically, interestingly, the distant spring has a change after day four of the game, which like why? Why after day four? Can you even get? I mean, I guess if you're really good at the game, I'm, I'm sure speedrunners can do it. Uh, I haven't watched a Pikmin speedrun in a while, so I don't remember. Uh, but like, who is uh, the casual person? They're most certainly not going to get to the distant spring on day four. That's that's just not going to happen. So it's really weird that there's a change to the game or change to the area after day four. Uh, there's also an enemy that goes away from the Distant Spring after day 15. And we'll be covering that, don't worry, and I'm sure everyone's very excited. But yeah, anyway, that was a yellow Wallywog. I actually don't know the difference between them and normal Wallywogs, so there you go. Um, I lost one Pikmin to it, because again, Wallywogs are weird. What Pikmin did I lose? I lost... I don't know, because I don't have my full party. Anyway... But uh, we have to throw a certain amount of blues up here. I think it's maybe 25, 30. I don't remember. Uh, but that's probably enough. We'll, we'll worry about it later. You throw them up to that, that ledge and lead them this way. So we can grab this uh, spinny thing. It's kind of annoying having them actually grab it because you have to maneuver them properly. Anyway, repair type bolts. <laughs> so, yeah. Just have that, and there's no enemies on the way, right? No, we're good. We're good. So I'm actually going to take a couple of you. Uh, the rest of you get back to work on that. Please. Please tell me I still left enough. Whatever, okay. And then the rest of you, let's take over here. Deal with these uh, flying shear grubs here. Who... Okay, stop working on the bridge, and kill your foe. What is that noise? Get okay, so that noise is when Pikmin are constantly coming in and out of the water, and it is the most infuriating thing. So, the rest of you guys start working on this bridge, because we will need that for later. And they should be safe to do that. There shouldn't be any problems. Are they still not back yet? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought they would go a little bit faster, but I guess we did stop on the way to get some of them off of it, so... Uh, so this is a pair type bolt. I'm actually gonna leave my yellows here because I don't need them. So they're gonna stay there. I said you're gonna stay here with your friends. The rest of your disgusting kind. Anyway, Puffy Blowhawk here. Uh, those spikes look dangerous, but they really are not. They are perfectly harmless creatures and just throw Pikmin on them. And if you throw enough Pikmin on them, they will get weighed down and then that's when you, when you want to swarm them. The only attack is being able to blow a bunch of air, which essentially blows your Pikmin away, which could potentially blow them in the water, which is dangerous, but otherwise they're perfectly harmless. So, this is a spotty ball bear. Uh, it's just a ball bear, but it's slightly stronger. I think it's easier to wake up. So you just want to be kind of more careful handling them. But otherwise, they're not that much more difficult. That one's kind of annoying. It's on, like, a ledge. So it's getting to its butt is kind of a problem. But it's not really that big of a deal. Anyway, those changes I mentioned. I wanted to bring those up. Uh, because we're actually going to run into an enemy soon. That is a result of those changes. They are the stooping swoop... Okay. The swooping snitch bug. They, um... I'll explain them before we meet them, because I'm going to be screaming when we meet them, because I hate them. That thing's not alive, it's kind of gyrating weirdly, but, um... Uh, they will grab a Pikmin, take it somewhere, and then just plant it in the ground. They don't kill them, they don't flower them like the Bermuda, they're just a nuisance. And I just realized I do kind of need yellows, so... Whatever, I'll take my blues, 
do with this Wallywog. There he is! This fucker. So, your main strategy is going to be hopefully throwing a Pikmin on him. A few Pikmin on him, preferably. While he's flying around. And then he's going to fall just like the Puffy Blowhog. You want to swarm him. And you want to keep Pikmin on him because they'll keep falling. Yep, you get back over here. Don't you run away from me. Oh, but yeah, I can grab two Pikmin at a time. Don't focus on the rocks. Focus on the foe in front of you. Please fall again. Okay, perfect. Let's get our reds over here so they can do more damage. Perfect. That was them pretty well. Uh, did he plant any? Doesn't look like he got the chance. Good. Where are the rest of my Pikmin? Oh, right, I have 14 working on the bridge, and then... Again, how did I lose three? What did I lose three Pikmin to? Because I had 99 after the Wallywog. I don't know. This game's weird sometimes. Anyway, another Wallywog here. Gonna deal with him now. Because I do want to start working on these bridges as well. Come on. Can we get him before he... Nope. We can't get him before he jumps again. Oh, we did get him before he jumped again. He just jumped because you can do that if you die, apparently. Uh, let's get... Yeah. Let's just get Ted working. Actually, hold on. I do want you guys still. Because, on this side of the bridge... It's going to be some sheer grubs, if I remember correctly. Yes, there are. So, just deal with them. Oh, I probably lost some Pikmin to sheer grubs, maybe? Before? I don't remember. So, okay, yeah, Pikmin is... Uh, Pikmin. Olimar just mentioned there that uh, if the Pikmin's path is obstructed by, you know, water that the blue Pikmin can otherwise walk through, but their pathing doesn't let them. Hold on, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, if their path is obstructed, they will just sort of mill around for a little bit uh, until their path is open, so. Okay, we got that working. And, uh, hmm, what else do I want to do for now? This first day is going to be somewhat just set up. How's that bridge coming along? I want to check real quick. It's going along okay. I can see a little bit. Uh, the main thing I want to do then is go and get some bomb rocks from over here with the yellows. So, separate. Grab just my yellows. Perfect. And grab the bomb rocks. And there's a couple of rocks, or walls rather, that I want to blow up. Any more? No more? Alright. Um, mainly this one, because it's going to be huge access to other areas. So let's go ahead and blow that up. Oh, we don't have enough bomb rocks on us. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, I mean, it's not a huge problem, but it's kind of annoying. Okay, so strategy then. Take the blues. Hope these guys are going to be alright. And actually, I'll need the yellows too. Actually, just take off you guys. What am I doing? Fight and drink the nectar. Oh my god. Get over here. Uh, I don't want to fight you right now. So, again, how's that bridge going? Halfway done the day. At least we got one ship part, so, you know. That's good. I'm worried about those Wallywogs, but I think we'll be alright. And take these blues. And get them to work on the bridge. They're done with the bridge. <laughs> alright, well that's good. You idiots! You idiots! Get out of the water! You can't swim! You don't have gills! Humans can't swim either. Um, Alright, let's get them all across here. And we have another spotty ball bear. And there's another ship part back here, so I'm just gonna try and kill it. And hope for the best. Please, 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 please! Okay, good. Alright, so... Let's get reds carrying this. Alright, and then I want the yellows, obviously, to grab these remaining bomb rocks here. And it's interesting, this area, you can see some skulls and, like, some spinal cords. So there's apparently this is some ancient creatures that died here. Though, I should mention, Olimar's really small. So, while these skulls may seem huge, this is probably, like, you know, a duck or something. I don't know what a duck skull looks like. It's probably terrifying because some, like, really cute creatures actually have, like, really terrifying skulls. Are you gonna grab that bomb? What are you doing? What are you doing in there? <laughs> grab the bomb, you idiot! A bomb! 
There we go. What the hell? It looks like one of those other bridges is finished now. So that's good. Uh, I'm scared to walk past you because I don't want my uh, <laughs> massage machine. Fantastic. Um, I don't want my Pikmin falling in the water. Especially, I don't... I think if a bomb rick... A uh, bomb rickman. A bomb rock Pikmin falls in the water, uh, the bomb just sort of dissipates. If I remember correctly. But I could be wrong. Am I leaving a Pikmin behind? Oh, that super super search bug did actually plant some Pikmin. That's annoying. Oh, they, yeah, there's a yellow left behind over there. I might grab him. I might not. We'll see what happens. There you are again! Shit! That's actually bad, because I have bomb rocks. I don't know how you do. I think the bomb rocks will just get dropped, but I don't want to risk anything right now. Uh, this is annoying. I don't want to throw any bomb rock Pikmin at him as well, because like I don't want the bomb rocks being wasted on a snitch bug like that. I need those bomb rocks, so fuck. Uh, so the Super Six Bugs only appear here after day four, I should mention, which more than likely then you're going to encounter them because it's the distant spring. It's one of the last areas and it's after day four, which is really early on into the game. So you're more than likely going to encounter them and have to deal with them. They also appear in the Force of Hope after day 15. So uh, try to finish up the Force of Hope before then because then you'll have to deal with those assholes. So, now that we have more bomb racks, uh, let's get over here. Move around all that, and yeah, they finished one of the bridges, that's good. And finish this wall off, should only take three more. Yeah, he did plant a couple, okay. I'll pluck you. Get you guys over with me again, because I could use more Pikmin, of course. And, okay, the other one's planted here. So yeah, I, I only left a, um... A uh, yellow behind on the other side of that bridge. Again, we might get him. We might not. Depends how I feel. Oh my god, there's a lot of grass here. I forgot how much grass there was. I don't really need it right now, but that's really cool. So we have another rock wall here. I don't remember how long this color takes. Off the top of my head? Probably a lot. It seems like it's a lot. So we'll just throw what we can. For now, we might finish it off later. In fact, I can almost guarantee we will because um, this is a super important wall to take down for the future. But uh, we won't be able to deal with it fully right now. And so the yellows have outlived their usefulness here. So I'm just going to put them back for now. Well, except for the one we left over there. I'm kind of almost done with the day. Um, again, I, well, I guess I'll take these two yellows, sure. Uh, I kind of knew this day would be mostly set up. Um, I was hoping... Well, I guess, I guess we got two ship parts. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, I was going to say I wish we did more today, but we did plenty. Uh, they're still building that bridge. So, okay. I want to get some other work done. So, get over here. I don't want you too close to the water, because if I'm going to swarm you, I don't want them falling in the water after they, you shake them off or anything. So, swarm the Bollywog! Oh my, he actually jumped. That's amazing. And there we go. And then that other one is in the water. So what I'm going to do is separate. Have everyone that's not blue not drown, preferably. <clears throat> everyone that's not blue, except for that one blue I guess that I have on me because I didn't do this well enough. Um, get over here. Why did I whistle blues? Whatever. Have them all work on that wall over there. We're not going to get that done today, I know, but the damage will at least be somewhat done. And let's deal with this Wally Wog then. Are you going to attack? There we go. That was weird. They like delayed attacking him for some reason. Please just kill him. Okay. Not before he jumps, apparently. And he's probably dead. Yes. So it's almost sun. Oh, I actually did lose some Pikmin there. Not like out of glitchiness. So they finished that bridge. That's good. So I can just oversee these guys um, getting the walls done. And we'll get this part tomorrow. I think that takes like 50. Let's just see how long this, how many this takes so I know for tomorrow. It takes, I believe it's 50. Yeah, that's a lot. So we'll need to grab 50. Well, of course we'll grab 50 Pikmin, but I'll probably need to grab like 50 blues specifically. Uh, so yeah, we won't be able to get both of these walls done, but we'll at least be able to make some progress on them. So, uh, tomorrow we can just, uh, 
put some Pikmin on them and then not worry about them too much. And uh, that yellow is going to die. That yellow is going to die. He'll be the first Pikmin I think we leave behind. Mainly because I don't care to go get him. I might have time. Well, I don't have time now, but I definitely would have had time if I had, you know, cared. Uh, I'm going to play it safe. If I play it safe, I move all the Pikmin over to this wall. Get a little bit more work on that done. And then call them back. Alright. I have 83 out of 83. What? But I left that one yellow button. Hi. But whatever. <laughs> I don't know. So, Pikmin's weird sometimes. Pikmin's a kind of glitchy game. It was a GameCube launch title, so like... That's not an excuse. Actually, never mind. I don't know, Pikmin's just a really glitchy game sometimes. Other times it's fine, but mainly when you're fighting Wallywogs, it's just like... It doesn't know what to do. And now he's gonna get devoured by like eight cheer grubs. Holy shit, that's seven. I don't account, shut up. And yep, first one left behind. But oh well. 21 in battle because I... Well, I lost a few legitimately at the end to that Wallywog. But mostly I've just lost them to like... A glitch with the bloody, um, puff stool that, like, I, that killed, like, 23 or whatever. Still mad about that, by the way. Alright, well, that's our side of the distant spring. We did pretty good. We got, two we got two ship parts, did a lot of setup. Um, we need to take down a couple more walls. But then we'll pretty much have open access to all the distant spring, and we can just go around grabbing ship parts, so... Looking good, looking good. Uh, we might finish this spring uh, in two more days, if I had to guess. So yeah. We'll, we'll just head back to the spring next time, because there's nothing else we can do. See you guys then.